What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've been getting a lot of good feedback from you guys and a lot of you guys have been requesting tutorial videos. So I thought it would be cool to show you guys three different patterns today. So um, let's put on the headset and jump into it. This triangle geometric pattern that I use, I find that it works best when I use about four colors. Four seems to be the best number. So what we're gonna do is grab four tones of green. A lot of people seem to um, sort of like get caught in using the same size triangle for each one and I find that it actually looks better and it's actually a lot easier if you use uh, different size triangles for each triangle. you make certain triangles too big i'll show you a way that you could actually double your triangle amount by using the bigger triangle and making smaller triangles within that triangle whoa this triangle that i just did is a lot bigger than the rest some people might panic especially if you're new to this it's sort of hard to wrap your head around the pattern uh, technique so what we're going to do is take this bigger triangle and make more triangles out of it and actually fix our problem. Um, throughout your piece very evenly. I noticed that with my eyes that I need another dark tone and since they're right here on the right side I want to balance that out and maybe put a dark tone somewhere around here on the left side. I feel like it's safe and it's okay to let your midtones be like take over a little bit more space versus your highlights and your dark tones. So as you can see there's a lot more uh, mid-tone greens and um, throughout this piece and I feel like that just visually it looks appropriate uh, let's do a few more and then we will call this a wrap use your creativity to use the shapes and interpret them in different ways sometimes these triangle patterns look like crystals and if we um, put the pattern in the right sequence we could also make it look like origami so that's what I'm doing right here. Oh man, I kind of just want to do more on the bottom too. If we have time, because we have a lot to cover, I'll go back. This is our triangle pattern shape. Um, again, we have two different ways of doing this. We have our oddly shaped triangles and we have our evenly shaped triangles where every triangle is the exact same size. I personally like the oddly shaped triangles. To me, this looks a lot more interesting and sort of fun. It catches the eye in a lot more enticing way. So this looks a lot cooler than me. Let's move on to the next pattern, which is our swirly line pattern. Yeah, for me, again, I just love using this pattern to cover large amounts of areas fairly quickly and very easily. This is a very easy technique that takes up space and is also very uh, visually very entertaining as well.
since this red line was coming here i left some gray space right here to dictate that this form is in front of this back this whip right here and if you do that things like that also help uh, play into the form of your pattern so however you want to manipulate your space that's a uh, one one thing to keep in mind as well Now the thing that's pretty challenging with this pattern is keeping the flow of all the stripes going in the right direction. But when I was first starting, um, it was very difficult for me to keep the flow of all the lines in the same direction. Eventually they start sort of like merging into each other. Like if I'm doing a swirl like that, sometimes they'll start to merge into each other. So what you wanna focus on is keeping the flow the same throughout your entire pattern. with some dots and just other design elements that go with it, go with the style and the flow of it. All right, so yeah, I think that looks, pretty much wraps it up for our trippy line pattern. So let's move on to our next and final pattern, which is our polka dot pattern, where I'm also gonna show you how to overlay or how to overlap. And what's been really popular in the street art world is this, um, series of overlapping colors that's when two shapes whether it's text or imagery whenever they overlap there's this cool sort of intersection of color and i want to show you guys how to do that i remember when i first saw this i really wanted to uh learn it so i i just looked at it analyzed how they did it and did my best interpretation and throughout the years as i practice it more and more i think i found out my way of doing it two big block shapes along with a, a nice image that I know I could do fairly easily and fairly well. And where the blocks intersect, the image is going to change colors. So let's do that. Oh, wow, that's a very bright color. We're gonna be using tones of blue. And this intersecting pattern, it's you could do it with any color. Uh, let me calm this down a bit. I think what I'm gonna draw on here is a eyeball for you guys. We'll do black and gray. I'm gonna go for a really graphic look here. We have our two colors dividing it right down the middle. And what we're gonna do is keep the left side black and we're gonna make the right side gray. Where these two blues meet, I'm gonna paint that gray and to the right. Let's get into it. All right guys, so there you have it. That is our pattern tutorial. I went over three different patterns. One is the geometric triangular pattern. One is the red, I call it like just a swirly line pattern. And it doesn't always have to be red. You can make it any color you want. And I went over our overlap effect as well as a um, polka dot pattern. Just to recap on all of these, to place your colors evenly throughout your pattern and to make sure that the color next to your triangle isn't the same. You wanna have all different colors all around. Our line weight pattern, what's really, what you really wanna focus on with this is making sure your line weights are being consistent as well as the spaces in between your lines. You can really manipulate the flow, form, and shape 
of your pattern. If you have some areas, you could supplement it with some polka dots that makes it look cool as well. And lastly, we have our overlap effect and our polka dot uh, pattern. This is a really great way to get that really cool overlapping effect right here. And you could apply it to very intricate images like an eyeball or just the simplest of shapes like a polka dot. That will conclude our pattern tutorial video. I tried to do as much as I could, so I did three patterns instead of one. If you guys found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to support the channel and get some merch, the link is in the description below. There's two links. When you buy directly from our walkingiantsco.com website, you're buying directly from us. So me and my partners are actually packaging the products ourselves. And if you go to our Teespring, we have a lot more designs that are just simple and just ship straight to you. So if you'd like to cop some merch and support the channel, link is in the description below. Give a thumbs up, comment below, and as always, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.